Now let's talk about hormones. I've already mentioned them and how important they are because they regulate the function of basically everything in the body. What is a hormone? A hormone is a chemical messenger that travels through your bloodstream to the tissues and organs. And they control, like I said, almost everything. It includes digestion, metabolism, respiration or breathing, your heart rate, your sensory perception of the world around you and inside of you. It controls your sleep, your excretion when you go to the bathroom. It also controls your stress. It has a lot of influence over your growth and development. It has influence over your movement. It even controls your mood, your sleep cycles, and your sexual function. It controls your reproduction, your appetite, and your body temperature. So this is just a short list of everything that is controlled by hormones. This is why we really wanna spend some time getting a great understanding of what you can do to bring the hormones into balance. And we know that we really wanna specifically focus on testosterone because it's testosterone that controls the sexual function more than any other hormone in the male body. So there's a lot of ways that we can balance our hormones. Let me read this list to you. Now I have to do some reading instead of just flowing when I teach because there's a lot of things here and I wanna make sure I don't miss anything. You need to know all of it and remember again, it's all in the PDF that you have so you can go back and access this again and again with a quick reference. Ways to balance your hormones include getting enough protein at every meal. Now this is something we really have to be cautious of because a lot of people have this misunderstanding that we need so much protein and they end up eating too much and that can be toxic for the body because the body doesn't store excess protein like it does other things like sugars. So what we want to make sure is we find the right balance of proteins. And another thing that we can do, and this is one of the most important things, and I keep saying this is the most important or this is the most important, but all of these together really are equal in importance of how we can get to that level of having that hard erection that we need and want so badly. This is about exercise. The more exercise we do and the fitter we are, the healthier we are, the better the blood flows, the tissues work, the organs work. It all comes down to being physically fit. And if you're just popping a pill to get an erection and not really taking care of your physical fitness, this is gonna impact you over the course of your life and things will only get worse. This is why we wanna understand that taking care of physical fitness is the foundation. Without that, it's gonna be very difficult to have any type of high quality of life in the long run. So make sure that you get some form of physical exercise, ideally every day. It doesn't have to be a lot, but the more that you get that blood pumping, the heart rate up a little bit, or do resistance training, like with weights or calisthenics, where you're moving your body around and challenging your body to grow muscles, and I'm gonna talk about that more in the future, but when we move and build muscle, we start to also increase our levels of testosterone. So you can see that by doing exercise, you're impacting everything. And this isn't rocket science, you already know this. The problem is that we make excuses or we have such a busy life that it's really hard to get the exercise into our daily routine. Now, what I want to encourage you to do is find 10 to 30 minutes each day to do something for your health, for your physical fitness, whether it be walking, biking, swimming, lifting weights, yoga, qigong, whatever it is that you like, and that's also really important. You need to find out what it is that you enjoy. If you're forcing yourself to do something out of this desire to be physically fit, but you don't actually enjoy it, it's not gonna last long. We know that we will get sick of it and eventually we'll just leave it out of our daily routine. So find something you enjoy. And usually, if you can, the best time to get that exercise is first thing in the morning because it impacts the rest of your day. It impacts everything, physical, energy, emotions, and mind. It impacts your creativity, your motivation, your inspiration. So if you're going to bed really late and they say that we need to get to bed before midnight and get up with the sun as much as possible, and we'll talk more about sleep in a bit, but please understand that if you can get up a little bit earlier, get that blood pumping through any type of exercise that works for you, it's gonna impact everything, especially the functioning of the erection that we're looking to master. Now, one more thing that we can do to help us balance the hormones is do regular stress-reducing practices. And some of the best stress reducing practices are very simple actually, and they're always accessible. Things like breathing. And I'm gonna give you 
a very deep understanding of how breathing can impact your whole body and give you practices that are very easy to do any time of the day to help reduce that stress. You can do it when you're studying, when you're working, when you're getting ready for a big meeting or a big exam, when you're getting ready to go on a date, things that you need to do to calm yourself down. This is one of the best, including meditation. Meditation is another thing that we may have some ideas about what it is, but not exactly understand it if you haven't ever done it before. And some people shy away from meditation saying, ah, I don't need to do that. I'm not into the spiritual aspect of meditating, or I don't need to do it because I'm not concerned with trying to look within myself. But this is exactly what we need to be concerned with. When we look within ourselves, we start to understand who we are and we can see what it is that's holding us back and what it is that we can do to really step into that next level of the experience of life. There's so much benefit from meditation that's coming from the understanding of scientific research. This isn't just some Buddhist or yogic understanding. Modern science has verified that this is one of the healthiest things that you can do for the functioning of your brain, for your hormonal imbalance, and for stress reduction. And I'm gonna give you a few very simple techniques that you will enjoy if you give them a try. Another thing that's really good for reducing stress is yoga and Qigong. And I've been teaching these for decades and I understand having worked with literally thousands of people from all over the world, how truly powerful these things are. Now I know and I've encountered men around the world that say yoga is not for me, Qigong is not for me, it's maybe too much for the ladies, it's just for stretching. It's actually a very profound, deep science for maximizing human potential. So it's so much more than just stretching. Now, of course, some of the practices are about stretching, and that's one of the things you need to understand, that the more flexible you are, the less stressed you are. The more flexible you are physically, the more flexible you are mentally and emotionally. So yoga is one of the greatest tools ever given to humankind for being able to balance every aspect of your being, physical, energetic, emotional, and mental. And I'm gonna share with you some very simple practices that you can get into in just a few minutes to get those benefits. Another really great way to reduce stress that doesn't matter if you're into physical fitness, yoga, qigong, meditation, breath work, is just simply listening to calming music. Quieting yourself down, relaxing in a comfortable chair, laying in bed, and listening to soothing music. This is a great gift. You can do this for yourself any time of the day. Just put on those headphones, close your eyes, and listen to a little bit of music that calms you down. The point is, we need to slow down. Most of us in the modern world are going so fast that we are in a rat race, literally. And that race is creating the tension internally. So we need to have tools, techniques, practices at our disposable. And we need a toolbox, not just one thing, but a variety of things because we change every day. And from moment to moment, we're different beings. So we need to have a wide variety of tools. And that's what I wanna share with you in this course is several different tools that you can access just about anytime, anywhere. And when you understand this, you take responsibility for your state. This gentleman is the key to evolution into fulfilling your potential as a man taking responsibility of your internal state, regardless of the storms that may be happening outside of you in your life and in the world, when we can take control of our internal state, that's when we truly become masters. And that's what this journey is about. Yes, the erection is part of it, but I'm trying to get you to understand that there's so much more to think of, to consider, to be aware of than just your hard cock. That's just the tip of the iceberg, let's say. When you take care of everything else, you're going to have that erection that you want. So let's keep going and learn more about this.